Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Manha who lived in a grand castle by the sea. She loved to spend her days strolling along the beach, collecting seashells and listening to the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. One day, as she was walking along the beach, she heard a faint singing voice coming from the water. Curious, she waded into the shallows to investigate. There, she saw a beautiful mermaid with long, flowing hair and shimmering scales. Hello, said Princess Manha, surprised. I didn't know there were mermaids in these waters. The mermaid smiled and said, We don't often come to the surface, but sometimes we like to sing to the humans. Manha was fascinated by the mermaid's beauty and grace, and they quickly became friends. Over the days and weeks that followed, Manha spent more and more time with the mermaid, learning about her underwater world. The mermaid's name was Nari, and she came from a large family of mermaids who lived in a nearby coral reef. Nari told Manha about the challenges her family faced in their underwater world. They had to navigate treacherous currents and avoid dangerous predators, like giant octopuses and hungry sharks. Their diet consisted mainly of fish and seaweed, and they had to be careful not to overfish their underwater homes. Nari's family also faced another challenge pollution. Man-made waste from the surface was constantly finding its way into their home, and it was making life difficult for the mermaids. They had to swim through polluted waters and avoid getting tangled up in discarded fishing nets and other debris. Manha was appalled by the pollution and promised to do what she could to help. She invited Nari and her family to the castle and introduced them to her family and friends. At first, they were afraid of the mermaids, but Manha explained that they were friendly and meant no harm. Over time, they grew to love the mermaids, and they became regular visitors to the castle. Manha also started a campaign to reduce pollution and overfishing in the ocean. She worked with the mermaids to find ways to protect their underwater homes and ensure that they had enough food to survive. They worked together to clean up the pollution and educate humans about the importance of protecting the ocean and its inhabitants. As time went on, the mermaids began to see humans in a new light. They realized that not all humans were greedy and selfish, and that some, like Princess Manha, truly cared about the ocean and its creatures. Princess Manha and Nari remained the best of friends, and they continued to work together to protect the ocean and all of its creatures. They inspired others to join their cause, and soon people from all over the world were working to protect the ocean. And whenever Manha walked along the beach, she could hear Nari's beautiful singing voice echoing across the waves, a reminder of their friendship and the important work they had done together. The End the moral lesson of the story is that we should all work together to protect our environment and its inhabitants, whether they be humans, animals, or mermaids. By joining forces and taking action to reduce pollution and overfishing, we can make a positive impact on the world around us and ensure a better future for all. Additionally, the story highlights the importance of friendship and the idea that individuals from different backgrounds can come together to achieve a common goal. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel for more great content. By subscribing, you'll never miss a new upload and you'll help support our channel. 
Thanks for watching. With warm regards. Manha.